Mama Murphy. You need the sight? It's telling me Mentats will give us the right high for another insight into your destiny. There you go. Ah, that's it. I can feel the sight opening up. You're looking for a man. He can help you. But he ain't gonna be the man you expect. He's somewhere deep and dark, surrounded by folks with nothing but cruel intentions. But there's an echo, something in the past that can help you. When you meet the fat man and the angry woman, tell them to... Remember the quarry and Lily June on the rocks, and they'll let you and your friend pass. <coughs> Don't mind me, kid. <coughs> the chems are just acting up a bit. I'll be fine, eventually. Mama Murphy. Come back for the site? I need Med X this time. Another chem... Another window to look through. Yeah, here you go. Oh, it just makes everything feel good, don't it? I'm starting to see clearly. You're walking into a sea, but it's not water you're afraid of drowning in. It's something invisible, but... Radiant. It burns everything in it. But, no, I can feel them. There's people calling out to something, chanting. They can show you the way, but they're so hard to read. Be careful around them, kid. I can't. <gasps> I... Almost thought I couldn't breathe there. Uh, heart's beating like no tomorrow. Gonna need to rest. Mama Murphy. We're gonna need a heavy hitter for the site to keep working, kid. Buff out ought to do it. Here. Go easy. Wow. Forgot how strong that stuff is. Phew. Okay. Here it comes. I see you, the mighty hunter. Only what you're hunting ain't an animal or a man. It's something different. Maybe something more than human. But what's this? I see a man in a white outfit standing over your prey. And he says something. It's so hard to make out. But I'm trying, kid. He says Z247, initialize factory reset, authorization code Zeta 53 Kilo. And then he falls. And he's still. Oh, God. <gasps> <coughs> Sorry, kid. Old Ticker just lurched there a few times. I'm fine, really. Just need to stay still. Hey. Ready for the sight again, kid? I usually like mixing Psycho in with something else, but I'll need it straight this time. I've got it. Oh, Lord. That's pure. Gonna be an interesting trip. I see you surrounded by outstretched hands. Everyone needs your help, kid. Everyone wants you to see things their way. And whether you want it or not, you're gonna have to decide which ways of life keep going in the Commonwealth and which end. Oh, no. <laughs> you should have seen this coming. She's... She's gone. 
Hey. Ready for the sight again, kid? I usually like mixing Psycho in with something else, but I'll need it straight this time. No. You're an addict. You need help. Oh, not this again. Kid, listen to me. I'm old, even older than you'd think. If the Kims are gonna kill me, then I say I've had a good run. We'd have never made it this far without the sight. We need it. You need it. It's part of who I am. The sight isn't worth killing yourself over, Mama Murphy. It doesn't have to define what you are or what you can give. All right, kid. You got me. If me hanging around for a little longer is worth that much to you, then I'll go clean. No more chems. No more sight. <clears throat> Do you have a minute? Sure. Go ahead. When we first met, I admit, I had my doubts about you. But you've done nothing but impress me. You're just who the Minutemen needed to bring us back from the brink. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. You've probably realized by now how important the Minutemen are to me. When I was a kid, the Minutemen were my heroes. They were the only good guys around, really. When I turned 17, I joined up with Ezra Hollis's company. He was one of the good ones. Really believed in the old-time Minuteman way. We had a few good years there. I felt like I was part of something bigger than me. Like I was really helping make the Commonwealth a better place. It sounds like you were really making a difference. I think we were. I know we were. But obviously it didn't last. I'm sure there was a lot I didn't see or know enough to pay attention to. You know, the politics and rivalries and bad blood between the different groups. I guess General Becker was able to keep a lid on it. Keep everyone more or less on the same team. But after he was killed, it all came out in the open. I couldn't believe it at first. These guys were supposed to be Minutemen. They were supposed to put their duty to the people ahead of everything else. You probably think I was pretty naive, huh? I guess I was. Still am, too. Even after everything, I still believe that the Minutemen can be what I always thought they were. The good guys. We are the good guys. We're doing our best. And a lot of it has to do with your example. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, thanks. Anyway... I appreciate you taking the time to listen. Anytime, Preston. Thanks, man. We probably better get back to it. Hi. Excuse me. General, do you have a minute? Anytime, Preston. Look, I know I put you in an almost impossible position when I asked you to lead the Minutemen. I didn't have any right to ask you to take that on. I guess I was kind of desperate at that point. I still don't know why you said yes. If it was for me, or for the Commonwealth, or for some other reason, it doesn't really matter. I just want you to know that I appreciate what you've done. We've got a long road ahead of us, for sure. But I don't doubt that you're the leader the Minutemen needed. Thanks for the vote of confidence. It's good to hear, especially from you. We make a good team, General. No doubt about that. I've taken up enough of your time. We'd better get back to it. <clears throat> You really are one of the good guys, you know? Thanks, Preston. I already know you think so. I know, but I don't know if you really get it. How unusual you are. Since we met, I think you know I've really come to respect you, both as a leader and as a friend. Most people are just out for themselves, one way or another. Even the good ones, but you're different. You really care about other people. Even when it isn't convenient or even safe, I've seen you risk your life more than once to help people just because it was the right thing to do. I just wanted you to know that, well, that it matters, that you're making a difference. You just described yourself, Preston. I hope you realize that. Quite the mutual admiration society we've got going here, huh? No, but I hear you. And thanks. Let's just agree to both keep that in mind going forward, huh? All right. Enough chit-chat, huh? I need to ask you something. You have a minute? I, uh, well, I wanted to talk about something. Yeah, go ahead. I've been thinking back lately on how things were for me when we first met. It was the lowest point of my life. I mean, all my closest friends were dead. 
everything I believed in had turned out to be a lie. I'd failed everyone who ever relied on me. I'd led them to Concord, and we had no hope of getting out alive. The thing is, that was actually okay with me. I was ready to die. It was what I felt I deserved. It was what I wanted. You did your best, Preston. You can't blame yourself for what happened. I knew it wasn't all on me, but I made my share of bad decisions along the way. I've got to live with that. My point in all of this is that, well, you saved my life. And not just by saving us from those raiders in Concord. I mean that you made me want to keep living again. I guess that sounds pretty sappy, but it's true. If we hadn't met, or if you'd killed those raiders and then just taken off, I don't know if I'd still be around. I think I would have found some way to, you know, end it. Maybe not by shooting myself in the head or anything, but just by not caring about staying alive. So I just wanted you to know that. How much our friendship has meant to me. I'm glad you decided to stick around, Preston. The world needs more people like you. Well, now you're making me embarrassed. I hope I didn't make you too uncomfortable telling you all that. I just felt like it needed to be said, you know? I guess we should get back to it, huh? Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we're going to be making our way to Cambridge police station but before we do let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off recording and I did a couple of things number one I went ahead and gave mama Murphy a bunch of Kims and showed what you can do if you give her all of the Kims she'll die and then what I did is I sent Preston Garvey and I sent Codsworth over to Ten Pines Bluff and I gave her Kims all the way up to buff out and then after I gave her the buff out, I went back to her and she's going to ask for Psycho. And I told her, no, I'm not giving you any more Kims. You need to get clean. And then she got clean. Now, the reason I did that is because it will help us in dialogues later on into the game. You don't have to do it. It's not mandatory. So it's totally up to you. Also, I went ahead and maxed out Preston's affinity. How I did that was a very long process. I did basically the same thing I did with Codsworth. I modded a weapon over and over and over again, waited for 48 hours, modded it, went back, waited 48 hours, you know, and just kept doing that. Although it takes a lot longer to get max affinity with Preston, just because he only likes when you mod a weapon. He doesn't love it as Codsworth loves when you mod weapons or mod your armor anything like that all right now that that's all been said let's go ahead and level up our armor i did go ahead and level up my combat rifle i'm not going to show like me leveling up my guns just because i don't know what everybody else is using somebody may not be using the same weapons as me so that i'm probably not going to include armor though I don't mind. What are you building? We're going to put it all the way up to studded. We want to make sure that we're taking the least amount of damage we can. Also, I did get another level and we will put it in in just a moment. But I want to get this armor made first so let's go into our pit boy and what we're gonna do is go to our levels and I'm gonna put it into local leader
Okay, let's start making our way to Cambridge Police Station. Let's go ahead and take some Radix. And then what we're going to do is we're going to head towards this water tower. So south. We're just going to loot the water tower for just a second. Looks like we got a bloat fly over here. Grab some purified water. And then we're going to head west. Head straight west. We're going to be going to a cabin. Grab some loot here. And then we can crouch. There's a bloat fly right there. We can take that one out. <coughs> Oops. Did not mean to go into my pit boy. Let's go ahead and listen to the Runaways hollow tape. October twenty second, two thousand seventy seven. I finally told them tonight, and it was bad, real bad. Dad was shouting, telling me I should be ashamed, that, that I had to get out of the house. Mom just cried, and somehow that hurt worse than anything else. She didn't say a word, not even when I packed my things. I can't go to John. He doesn't even know yet. Maybe he'll never know. If it weren't for the cabin, I, I wouldn't have a place to sleep. Just need some time to think. Last time I was here, I was just a little girl playing clubhouse in this old cabin. Now I'm really scared. Will anything ever be right again? Let's go ahead and pick up the Wasteland Survival Guide. Perfect. We're going to permanently take 5% less damage from unarmed attacks. Pretty decent stat to have. We're going to head south over here to the Wicked Construction. Or Shipping. I'm sorry, not Construction. Wicked Shipping. We're going to crouch. There's a couple of ghouls over here. Not a crazy amount, just a few of them. And then we're going to hack this terminal and turn on the Protectron. Powering up. Protectron on duty. That's closed. You can't get in there.
We can go over here, though. Aw, oh, you messed it up, dog meat. Says Gary over there. Or Gary. Ooh, wonder glue. Grab that. Never pass up glue or any kind of adhesive. Let's go ahead and listen to the Wicked Business holotape. Blake, I want you to listen to me as a brother here. This whole deal with Eddie is wicked shysty. I mean, what kind of business partner threatens to kill you if the deal doesn't go his way? We are in way over our heads, man. I can't see a way out of this. No way except shutting down and getting out of Dodge. Give me a chance to talk this out with you face to face. I just want both of us to get out of this. We're gonna come in here, we're gonna lock pick a safe. Yes. Kind of loot anything we can at the moment. Let's go ahead and turn off that radio. Right over here is a Grognak the Barbarian comic nice. book. Nice. And then the Wicked Shipping trailer key. If you want, you can go into that terminal, read a little bit of lore if you're into that kind of thing. Gonna crouch again. And that's pretty much it for the ghouls in here. Shouldn't have to worry about any more. Come over here, loot a couple of things. Pick up the 10 millimeter if you want. And then we can jump over here, up top here, and get some pre-war money. That's always in there. And then if we come up here, we can actually open the trailer door. Now the wicked shipping trailers are gonna be scattered all over the Commonwealth. So you'll be able to find them all over the place. Oh, I thought I seen something over there. You can come in here for a chem station. If you need to make any chems. Now we're gonna come around this trailer. And we're gonna come out here. We're gonna crouch. See a bunch of bloat flies over there. Let's see if we can't get them all. Missed one. I'm gonna come over here to this little shack. Grab that Nuka Cola. Grab what we can. If you need to sleep. There's a bed right there. Now we are going to head towards Abernathy Farm. So between north and east, go straight northeast. We need to find Mr. Abernathy, wherever he may be. Here for work. There's Connie. I think her name's Connie. Yes, Connie Abernathy. Where the hell is Mr. Abernathy? By the way, if you want any tatoes or melons, you can always get them over here. 
I'm going to go over this trailer real quick while we're searching for Mr. Abernathy here. Loot a couple of things. I believe that guy will sell you dogs if you talk to him. Yeah, Gene, he'll sell you a dog. So if you want a different dog or have extra... Oh, there's Mr. Abernathy. Or have extra defense at your settlement, you can talk to Gene and he'll sell you a dog. Hey. That's close enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. It's okay. I'm friendly. Not looking to cause any trouble. If you say so, but be warned. We're armed here, so don't try anything. Let me tell you, farming ain't easy. Out in the field all day, every day, and every minute of it, spent watching your back. What kind of crops do you grow here? Mostly potatoes so far, but we're starting on melons. Blake Abernathy, you new to the Commonwealth? I'm... yeah. You could say that. Good to see a new face. How about you? Ever think about working the land? Don't know. Never really thought about it. Hell, neither did I. I was born into it. Word of advice, though. If you do start up a farm, be ready to deal with the raiders. Why do all the hard work when you can just take what you want at gunpoint? What about the Minutemen? If you join up... We can all help each other against the raiders. You don't say. I thought the Minutemen were all gone. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. So you can understand why I'm glad to hear the Minutemen are back. Although, a bit too late for my Mary. There's nothing worse than losing a child. Believe me, I know. I'm sorry to hear you say so. I don't have much to offer, but those raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket, too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. I took care of some raiders earlier. I think I found the locket you're talking about. You serious? That's great news. Connie's gonna be speechless. Whatever the Minutemen need, you can count on us. We got a decent workshop here, and Connie's sure to go leaner on her prices after what you've done. So the locket that we picked up when we went to the Satellite Array Olivia, that's what we just gave to Blake Abernathy. So make sure that you have that locket on you. Got a rad stag doe. I'm going to kill these deer. Loot what we can. We're heading east towards another cabin. Before we do, there's a tree that's fallen over and a safe that's opened up. Pick up some ammunition and a pipe pistol if you want. I'm not even going to bother picking up pipe guns. Be really careful by this cabin. We're going to have some ghouls that will attack us. I'm keeping my pit boy on to give everybody better lighting. That way it's not difficult for anybody to see. I have a ghoul sleeping right here. 
Take him out. Some jet on the table. And then we're going to go into the root cellar. Loot what you want. Should have took that duct tape. Matter of fact, I'll grab it now. Never hurts to have more adhesive. That's the stuff I run through a lot. Adhesive, ballistic, fiber, stuff like that. We're going to turn off this radio. And then we are going to put on some Radex. Pick up the nuke parts that will give you nuclear material when you break it down that is and then right over here we have a, another wasteland survival guide nice this one's just gonna permanently mark diamond city on the map but i believe we already have that marked on the map so it's kind of useless Grab the bottle cap mine, and then I'm going to hack this terminal. There's just lore in it, so it's up to you if you want to hack it or not. I'm just going to hack it for the experience. Let's go ahead and get out of this root cellar. I'm actually going to use some rad away. We're going to come out here and go back up to the road. Take a right. Over there is Concord. So if you want to explore Concord again, you can. There's still a bunch of stuff to loot over there, including that church. Take a right. And we are going to meet one of my favorite NPCs. Trash can Carla. Mm, what a sexy lady. Uh. <clears throat> so what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? Just looking for love, sweetheart. <laughs> Boy, have you come to the wrong place. My loving days have long since passed. But I'll tell you what, wise ass. You made an old girl smile, and that ain't easy. You want to do some trading? I'll give you a discount. I'm going to do some trading with Trash Can Carla, but I'm not going to show it on the recording. So I'll see everybody in just a second. Let's see what you got. I got a little bit of everything. Let's go ahead and make our way to Drumlin Diner. We had a deal, Trudy. Hand over the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Now don't make me come in there and shoot up that little trading post of yours. Whoa, whoa. Easy there, scabber. This doesn't involve you. You stop waving that gun in my face, or it's gonna involve me. Okay, okay, just take it easy. We'll lower our weapons, all right? Just don't do anything crazy. Now hand over your money, all of it. Just keep calm, all right? Here, that's everything I have. What's going on here? That's a simple business dispute, got it? Trudy's sitting on a pile of goods that she owes me. I tried reasoning with her, but it looks like I gotta take what's mine by force. Wanna make some easy money? Help me out. I could use another gun. Or maybe you think you can talk some sense into her. Who's Trudy? See that diner right in front of us? Trudy owns the place. She's converted it into a small shop. I sell her chems, she gives me caps and parts I need. And when her son Patrick had his 18th birthday, I might have sold him some jet, then some more, then a lot more. Now he's in debt. Jet? What, what's jet? That's my top seller. Gives you a high like you wouldn't believe. 
My customers swear it makes them faster, always take a huff before a fight. So I guess Patrick was looking to get from under his mama's skirt and be like the tough guys. So he bought some. And once you're on it, why stop? Now I've sold that boy a lot of my jet, and I expect someone to make good on his promises that I get paid. Looks to me like they shouldn't have bought that jet, and you shouldn't have sold it to them. Yeah, well, hindsight's a bitch, and I'm holding the leash. Now you gonna help us out, or what? If I help, I expect to get paid. And I'd love to pay you, but you took all my money, remember? We'll work something out when this is over. And why would I help you exactly? Look, I deal in chems. You know, medicine? Kind of useful out in these parts. Stim packs can patch up your wounds in seconds. Not to mention all the fun stuff. I got that too. You help me out and we can do business. Trust me, I'm a good friend to have. I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. I appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. Why? What's this all about? Oh, that Ken Pusher didn't tell you? He got my boy hooked on Jet, sold him a ton of junk on credit, and now he expects me to pay him off. That bastard ain't getting a single damn cap from me. Look, you owe the money. If you just pay them, then this'll be over. Everyone walks away without getting hurt. All right. I'll pay. But that bastard ain't gonna sell one more drop of jet to my boy. You hear that, Wolfgang? You'll get your damn money, but I better not catch you selling chems to my boy again. Fine by me, Trudy. Your son's broke as shit anyhow. All right. Crisis is over. If you're here to trade, step up to the counter. Never take a hit of jet again, I swear. Hey. God, your chain just itching all over. We're open for business again. A little lighter in the pocket, thanks to you. How about you buy something and make it up to us? You got things covered from here? Yeah. It's gonna take my son a while to get off the chems, but we'll make it. We always do. Now, let's get back to business. You need anything for the road? Again, I'm gonna barter with Trudy, but I'm gonna cut it from the video. I'll see everybody in just a moment. I'll take a look, sure. All salvage, but nothing's junk. We get paid and I don't even gotta shoot nobody. Good job. Here. Now how about I show you all the pick-me-ups I have to offer? What kind of chems do you sell, anyway? Well, whatever I can get a hold of. Jet's popular. Gives you a rush when you need it. Like when you need to hurt somebody. Stim packs are like gold, of course. Everyone's bound to get hurt and need fixing sometime. And I always try to carry Rad away for obvious reasons. Just pick something up. Have a taste. Best way to get to know the product. Let's barter with him? I've got a few minutes to browse. Now remember, moderation. <laughs>
All right, now I'm all stocked up on Kims and ammunition. Start using our 10 millimeter pistol. Or no, let's let's wait until we have about a thousand ammunition for our 10 millimeter, and then we'll start using it. Nothing in the Edotronic. Right here is another chance for everybody to get a perfectly preserved pie. Get some Nuka Colas. And then we're going to head up to this house. This house is an event spot, so anything can happen. It's always random. We'll see if we have anything interesting. Another rad st storm is hitting us. Yay, I suppose. There's a mine over here, but that's it. Oh, there's another one, too. So, no event. That's alright. Not a big deal. We're going to head back down the driveway, and then we're going to hang a right. Here's a Wicked Shipping trailer. We can open it up. Oh man. Guess he saw only one way out of here. He ate a bullet. Num num, get you some. Go around this train car. Take some Rad X. I have quite a few stim packs now. I bought some from Trudy and Wolfgang. Over here, the Roach King can spawn. He's not here now, but you do have a chance for him to spawn. Nine times out of ten, it's just going to be a bunch of rad roaches that spawn in here anyways. And they're ganging up on dog meat. Leave my dog alone. Stupid rad roaches. Dog meat is a good companion, but he's not the strongest. We're gonna continue down this road. Can't really see it, but there is a scrap yard or junk yard over here. We're going to go up there. There's going to be a bunch of mole rats we're going to kill over there. And then after that, we're going to listen to the military frequency. That'll give us the fire support quest to track. Matter of fact, let's track the fire support. Oh yeah, Preston is always giving me a bunch of stuff to do. Never fails. Got a few more mole rats that's going to pop out. Ooh, got a legendary. Take the legendary out, hopefully. Oh my god. I'm reloading. Can you hold on a minute, mole rat? Jesus. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves. We're going to come up here. Loot some ammo boxes.
Make sure you have some radix on. This place is really irradiated. So let's go ahead and lockpick this safe. Nice. And then we're going to hack this terminal. If you want to read the lore in that terminal, feel free. We're just going to come in here for just a second. There's not much to loot in here. Just a Kim box, really. Place to rest if you want to. But keep in mind, it is irradiated. Be really careful. There is... No, don't hit it. Dog meat. Jeez. Yeah, there's a grenade that will fall down if you step over that makeshift trip wire. Wow. Two legendary mole rats in one spot, huh? Let's go ahead and go into our pit boy. We're going to put a level in. We're going to put it into Gunslinger. By the way, if I am leveling faster than everybody else, just write it down. Put it in whenever you got the level, if that's what you're doing, if you're following along the same build as me. If not, that's okay too. Volt Tech calling. Oh, Volt 88. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do Volt 88. Let's go ahead and go into our radio. We're going to listen to the military frequency AF95. Automated message repeating. This is Scribe Halen of Reconnaissance Squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Ferrum 95. Our unit has sustained casualties and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. We're going to go and help them out. We're going to be fighting some feral ghouls, so be prepared for that. Over there is Grey Garden. We'll be going over there in an episode or two. Probably about two more episodes and we'll be heading over to Grey Garden. Bean Town Brewery. That'll be much later into the walkthrough. I'm going to follow this road and then where you see this light post and stoplight by the way you seen that fly over that was a spaceship it crashed over there you can see it off in the distance we'll be worrying about that later for now let's go through this alleyway and help paladin dance civilian in the perimeter check your fire Don't corner me. Not fair, guys. I know they're still here. Molotovs, man. Molotovs. Poor dog meat. Hang in there, bud. I heard something. Ooh, yes. Roop up just like that. Thank you. Standing down. Let's talk to Paladin Dance. <clears throat> we appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? I'm just trying to survive out here. Like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals? 
I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? Do all these questions really matter? After all, I help you fight those ferals. You make a fair point. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. I want to help, but I don't like the secrecy. Who are you, really? Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need, the Deep Range Transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Who are the Brotherhood of Steel? Our order seeks to understand the nature of technology, its power, its meaning to us as humans. And we fight to secure that power from those who would abuse it. Your cause seems noble. I'm pleased that you agree. There are very few, outside the Brotherhood, who appreciate the gravity of the situation we're facing as a species. So, what do you say? Will you help us? No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Halen, take Reese inside and find his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. We're gonna wait for them to go inside and then we'll end the video. Move forward a little bit. All right, everyone, I want to start by telling you all thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.